saying good things down, but winning again. Didn't I say that? Yeah. <sighs> What's that? You need to open state here. Two questions from Eric. Okay, perfect. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I would never repeat that up here. <laughs> you can tell it right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> um, well, let me just say, uh, great to win. Uh, I think Houston has a really good football team. Obviously, we talked about it all week. They have a really good football team, and I think Coach Johnson's done a great job on uh, the culture that he's building and the fight that they have in that football team. <laughs> Uh, I think they are very talented, uh, but I was really impressed with our team today. Um, not with how they played. Um, I wasn't so much with that. I was impressed with I was impressed the way they stuck together. I was impressed with the way they competed. Uh, all the intangible things we always talk about. I was impressed with their determination, their fight, their want to, their togetherness. I mean, offensively, I don't know, we had five plays in the first quarter, something like that, you know what I mean? Three and out, three and out, turnover. Uh, and our defense, every time they'd run by, it was like, we got them, coach, we got them. Uh, keep everybody up, we got them, long game, let's go. I mean, they were encouraging, talking to each other, where how easy it would have been to point a finger, um, come on offense, pick it up, you know what I mean? With everything riding on this game, uh, being magical number seven. Um, so uh, what an honor. For us to be in the playoffs again, uh, what a great accomplishment uh, for this football program. And I'm just really proud of these players for the way – I'm proud of the way they played. I didn't want to take my statement a minute ago. I'm not proud of the way they played. But I'm more proud of the intangibles and togetherness that they displayed today in that game when they had some adversity early. And it would have been real easy to point fingers and fold. And yet they came together closer uh, and fought harder and were able, to, with a lot of resolve, uh, get, the, get the victory today. Uh, Coach, you kind of just touched on it, uh, but what does it mean for your team as the defending champs to know that you clinched going into the final week, and then how does that impact how you handle that that final game? Um, well, my opening team meeting, um, I said this is not 2022 team. This is a total new team. So as much as it's great, to, you know, we have the defending champions, but we have, what, six out of eight new offense linemen. We have, I think, six out of eight new wide receivers than we had from a year ago. Um, so there's a lot of new faces. This is a new football team, and I'm really proud of what this team is able to accomplish. Um, you know, we still have a game left. I haven't really given much thought or consideration to how I'll handle that now. I got a three and a half hour bus ride home, so we can talk a little bit about it, about getting some people healthy, you know, with where we are. Maybe at some positions, we don't have enough to sit everybody down, you know what I mean? And just, bring the B team, so to speak. Um, but we got to look at it. I don't know how we'll play it right now, but there's one more game, and I'll, I'll talk to the leadership council about how they want to handle it. Um, then we'll make some decisions. We'll make some decisions as a team. But right now, just really proud um, to get to seven. And the goal at the beginning was let's be as good as we can be. And I think we can be pretty good, I think, as we showed in a half of football today. You know, really a half and one drive. We could, be, we could be pretty good as a football team, both offensively and defensively. But the real tribute, the real winner tonight or today is the way that defense played. I mean, the job they did, the poor field position they had, uh, the job they did in the red zone. I, I don't know how many field goals it ended up being today, but uh, but five field goals. I mean, they did an unbelievable job in the red zone. I, I'm just really proud of the way the defense played. And um, they felt Coach um, Coach Chavis, Coach Shoup, um, Coach Long. They all felt like you know what, we're going to play well. We're going to play well as a defense, and I thought they did. Uh, two quick questions, Coach. One, uh, could you comment on Matt Hankins' contribution today, recent signing, and uh, came up with a touchdown some other big plays? And then two, not only did you all clinch a playoff game, that game for sure will be played in Birmingham at this point. So any any message for the fans back in Birmingham? Well, let me say this. Giddy up to the fans that showed up today. You know what I mean? How great was that? We went out there. Uh, we went and took the field, and I hear a little cheer, and I look up, and there are the white stallion flags and the – Buckham with a B. I want to make that clear how I said that. I mean, <laughs> had the the Buckham signs, and I mean, they're the fans are great. Uh, they're unbelievable. They've been awesome at home. Uh, what a treat to know that we're going to have the opportunity to play one more game uh, in Birmingham in the 2023 season. So can't say thank you enough to them and Matt Hankins. Um, I. <laughs> 
I just – I'm so proud of that young man. We, we had a practice on – Thursday was it Thursday's practice Thursday, or Wednesday it was, it went the second day uh, and uh, that son of a gun I think he intercepted two passes uh, broke up two or three got inside of the receiver twice we even were making the comment Alex and I it's like he's pretty good now I mean let me tell you and you know everybody's you know all the everybody's fresh legs for you know what I mean he just showed up here where everybody else is uh three months into the season and he just showed up but wow instincts uh ball skills uh, I've really been impressed with him with the short time that I've been around him. Uh, but I think he is making, not just today with the interception, but I think he's going he's gonna to definitely help strengthen our defensive football team. But I think he is a, he's really, he's a really quality player. And a great, great young man. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. And he's fit right into this, this, this group of guys. Uh, Alex, you guys were up 10-9 at halftime, outscored them 28-6 in the second half. What was the difference offensively for you in the second? I mean, I just think we stopped hurting ourselves. I think the first drive, you know, we had some miscues. I, you know, in the second drive, I got to get a better pitch to CJ. Um, to, so that way he can catch it on the run. He doesn't have to worry about going back. Um, and then I just think we kind of got into our rhythm after that two-minute drive where we stopped thinking so much. I think we stopped trying to do everything perfectly and we just started playing football like we know how to play again um, and then we were able to score the first drive coming out of half which then just kind of kept that momentum going and um, we were able to to score a lot and the defense helped you know with that with the pick six or fumble six whatever it was but just the momentum and just playing playing like we know how to play and stop overdoing everything and just playing playing ball even Alex made a comment to me <clears throat> After about the first quarter, middle of the second, he said, "We just got to relax and play football." I mean, we're, we, got, you know, there's a lot riding on this. We have a chance to get seven, and you know, every, it's it's hard. Everybody starts worrying, and you start with golf. And if we don't win this one, then we got to win next week, and then we got to come right back here, and then it's a short week, and then it's, you know, when you you build these mushroom clouds in your head. Just go play the next play. Just let, let's let's not let worry beat us. And worry is something that we can control. So, um, as we've learned, it's a form of negativity. And we're trying to stay we're trying to stay positive with what we do. And um, whether in the second half, it seemed like guys played a whole lot looser than they did and made some plays than they did in the first half. Uh, Jay, she had a big catch on that seam ball on the drive where you ended up scoring. Um, can you take us through the, the the touchdown catch? And did you think that your feet were in? Uh, I always think my feet are in, <laughs> even if they're not. Um, again, Alex made a good play on the move, scrambling. Probably should have never been in that situation um, two plays before if I just would have kept running and not tried to catch it one-handed. But um, So that was self-inflicted. <laughs> and you brought that up. I want to make that clear. <laughs> so, uh, right, so, yeah, I brought it up, so we're not going to discuss it anymore. <laughs> Positivity. And, uh but yeah, no, like I said, we just – I love doing two-minute with this offense. It's something we take pride in. Like I said, I don't know the statistics, but I know out of the – as many attempts that we've had at two-minute, we were very successful, and uh, we look forward to it as an offense. And as soon as we saw that it was 56 seconds left, I was like, oh, that's too much time for Alex. So we're about to go, you know, set the tone for the second half. We, we normally, in our practice, we call it 30 for 30 off the ESPN show, the 30 for 30. And we've got to go – 30 yards in 30 seconds. So, like, we'll start on our own 40-yard line, you know, our own 30-yard line, and there's 30 seconds on the clock, and we've got to go down and score. So that's how we've trained. And so when, when they look up there and go, Coach, there's 57 seconds on the clock. I mean, it's like there's not even a rush. You know what I mean? It's like, and we got, timeouts. what, two or three timeouts? Two it's timeouts, like yeah. we're, we're good. I mean, so nobody hits a panic button. They just – they play, and really – uh, I came in at halftime, and we just we weren't very consistent. You know, we'd run the ball, we'd gain four, then we'd lose three, and then we'd drop a ball, punt. Um, then we'd run the ball, and we'd gain six, and it looks good. And then you run the ball, and you lose two. And now you're third and five, and you, you throw it, and we just miss it. There's a miscommunication, whatever it is, and you're punt. Um, I came in and looked at the halftime stats, and we're like six of ten and throw the ball. And really, outside of the two-minute drive, I think we probably had like one first down. I mean, I know it wasn't very many. Um, but I looked at it and I said, you know what, Skip Holtz, you're an idiot. I mean, you got one of your best player on your football team has touched the ball ten times. You know, I mean, and that's when I said I need to put the ball in the second half in his hands and I need to drop back and I need to let him see the field, uh, take advantage of what they're giving us. 
I trust him uh, to see the field and to throw it. I know he's really frustrated about, you know, his interception, you know, but if he would have thrown it on time, I don't think it would have been one. But um, but I I do think that um, right now I trust him incredibly uh, to put the ball in his hands. And they had a good scheme because they would spread out and blitz us. They'd play man, they'd play press, and then they'd spy their two linebacker, their two linebackers out, and they'd play double rat. Uh, they they just they had a really they had a really good plan. And I was in a guessing game, and I was guessing wrong a lot. Uh, and that's when I just said I just need to put it in Alex's hand at halftime and let him let him run it. Without bless you. Uh, and I thought he did a great I thought he did a great job. The whole offense did, and really, and I. Comments on the defense. I just couldn't be more proud. That's why uh, defense is why we won this game today, without a doubt. They kept us in it when sure. when we did not want to play early. But really proud of what our defense was able to do. All right, we have two on Zoom. Oscar, we'll go with you first. Hola, right. Oscar. <laughs> This season is like a roller coaster, no? You name it, the 30 for 30, no? But every week, this team found the way to win. Yes. Tell me a little about that. You know, I think it's the I think it's a real testament to the character of the players that are on this team and the leadership we have. Uh, this is a team that uh, was very well documented early in the season, Oscar, with all the injuries we had, losing seven seven players on our leadership council uh, that were out for the year. That you know, when you start talking about Scooby and Jay Marr and um, all the people, Bo Scarborough and Marlon Williams and Bobby Holly, uh, and there are a lot of guys that we brought onto this football team. Team, and really, they got on after the first game. And you look at the way they've come along. I made the comment about three weeks ago. I said, you know what? It's a, uh, we're starting to hit our stride. We're starting to come together. We're starting to play together as a team. We're starting to do a lot of little things the right way. And I think all that is a real testament to the work ethic, the leadership, the quality of character uh, that we have in that locker room. And so uh, I am blessed, Oscar. I've said before that my father always told me if you ever see a turtle on top of a fence post, he didn't get there alone. Um, you know what? I have the opportunity to be the head football coach that I'm blessed to have this opportunity. Uh, and I am even more blessed uh, to coach a bunch of guys that, I mean, I get a chance to be the duck that floats on top of the water. And I've got some unbelievable people that are just paddling like hell underneath to make this thing work and uh, I just like I said I'm very 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 blessed and just really proud of this team but every team is different every team has a life expectancy of one year and you know what this team's not done yet we're still writing the script and we got a chip, couple more chapters to write and then we'll then we'll start talking about what this team has done and accomplished all right go ahead James with your question Obviously, this was a huge game, especially since you had lost to Houston a few weeks ago. You got your revenge today. What were some of the main adjustments you and the team made to see so much success on both sides of the football, especially defensively today? Well, the defense was motivated. They did not. They they didn't feel like they played very well last time, uh, and you know they were they were motivated. Uh, they were hungry. I think they've had a great week of practice. Uh, but I, so much of success comes from drive, desire, how bad you want it. How, how, how bad do you really want it? What, what are you willing, what price are you willing to pay uh, for success to accomplish it on the field? How, how, how hard are you willing to strain? How hard are you willing to compete when you're still sore and you've gone too many plays and you're tired? Uh, and that's where I think this team has impressed me the most because of their, their drive and their want to. As Oscar said a minute ago, so many of these games have been so close, but this team always finds a way to win because they're going to do what they need to do and they just they won't accept losing right now. And I just, like I said, I am truly blessed to have the opportunity to be around them. All right. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, players. Thanks, Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank good. you to those on Zoom for joining us. It was good. I just don't know where you're getting from. <laughs> <laughs> write a book about proud of you. Proud of you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you all. Hola, Oscar. I got to come up with another word in Spanish so I can say something else. Adios.